sir. How you doing, Doc? I'm doing wonderful. Um, <laughs> let the whole world, what church you preach at? Um, in West Springfield Baptist Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, so how you started the, the worship? Um, I mean, how you put it, how you got really into it? Uh, well, first of all, you know, I was a dame from the very foundation of the world, and uh, in my mother's womb, my mother um, was saved before she got called into the ministry, evidently, and uh, when she got called into the ministry, I was, she was carrying me. Okay. And so from that from that point, um, it was destined for me to be where I am today, and. Uh, and that's how it, how it started my mother's womb. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so, um, uh, I mean, I mean, how you, you went to school for it? Or? No, I didn't go to school. I didn't go to school to become a preacher. Um, the call was on my life, and um, I just yield to God, and, and here I am. I, I have uh, some seminary um, um, teachings, uh, but... I just depend on the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, to lead and guide me through our messages. Okay, so when I first started, when I first started coming here, and, um, my daddy, he was a pastor himself, mm -hmm. and he would pass that on um, New Palm Go about the church. Mm -hmm. And that's the only preacher I would listen to preach, and he, you know, I, he could get down and say, where you get down? Okay. And so um, one day when my, I had lost my dad in 2005, and um, it was on the first, so I like well, ain't no other church to go to, and so I um, came in when that for my wife, and so I like well, I might well come. Anytime I hear about Red Fish Church, it's off the chain, off the chain, off the chain. And so I like well, I need to come. So I was one day he had caught me. I like that man sounds just like my daddy. I like wow, but it, I mean your sermon is good and. Mm -hmm. And, and 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 I like the way how you touch with you, and you, you not no mother preacher. You just, they just fake out of there, and, they, right, and, right. and they buy money. Right. But you, you a type of preacher, you not buy that. You right. know what I'm saying? And and and, and you, how you say that? Uh, I'm, I'm touchable. Yeah, I'm touchable. <laughs> I'm touchable. I'm touchable. Um, so um. It's another question um, I want to ask you. Uh, well, um, how do you, how do you speak to a person if they come to you and say, "Well, Pastor, uh, I lost my house. Uh, uh, my husband had to leave me, or my wife had to leave me." And, uh, I ain't had nowhere to go, nowhere to see. How you you acted that? How I reacted that? I, I I look at the uh, point that although we're in a situation, we feel like our situation is bad. Yes, for us it is bad, but I always look at somebody's in a worse situation than we are, mm -hmm. and that if we still have something, we can still build on something. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite scriptures I always quote is that the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do. We have to live by faith on everything that we do. Every time we move, we got to move by faith. Every mm -hmm. time we, we whatever we do, we got to do it uh, do it by faith and knowing that God has everything in control. Mm -hmm. so I refer back to them, let them know that hey, somebody else is in a worse situation than you are. Is worse than it, it's, it's not as bad as you think it is. Mm -hmm. That where as long as you have something, you can start all over again. And so I, I let them know about that. No, that's it. And, you you know, did not touch me on that one. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, so so um, uh, I mean you like if they green carry and 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 uh. Like they they we 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 down and you know some people they they can hard oh, God I need God and all yeah. this and, and and but sometimes sometimes some people they be like oh I need I need how you how you act like they, if they keep on keep on keep on keep on keep on keep on well person that keep on keep on keep on doing that is a person who evidently 
does not really have that trust or that 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 faith that they need mm -hmm. in order to God said he'll supply all of our needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. And so we must realize that God owns everything. God has everything. And if you are, or if you are his child, it's, it, it'll be a poor father not to take care of his children. Mm -hmm. We know God is not a poor father. Mm -hmm. He has a whole lot of children. He can take care of his children. Mm -hmm. What God really wants us to do is that we trust him, knowing that, hey, I know without a shadow of a doubt it's bad now. But God, my Father, is going to bring me through. I've been in situations myself. I didn't know how I was going to get out. And I started getting wavering and frustrated and started feeling, oh, what am I going to do? How am I going to do that? Why can't I do it? You know, how am I going to do this? How am I gonna do? I'm in a situation right now. I don't know how I'm going to get out of it. But I always go by and say, listen, God has done it before. <laughs> God has done it again. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's I right. Am, and I say, hey. That's the way it goes. <laughs> I know that's right. So, 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 um, um, uh, I mean, what you like to do is come to church and you give her the word and, 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 and uh, I mean, your most time, like, you, uh, you, I know you work at a funeral home too, right? Well, yeah, yeah at that time, okay. Oh, so at your basic time, what you do at home, you just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I really have a lot of free time on my hands, and uh, I need to get better in, in my study habits. Um, usually, um, God will drop something in my spirit, and um, I meditate on it um, all during the week. Um, I write little stuff down, and usually on Saturdays, you know, I'm pretty much... Everything I've gathered during the whole week, you know, I'm now putting it in order, put it in thing. And then sometimes other things come, you know, to my to my mind. So I never preach a sermon. I don't preach word for word. Mm -hmm. I will give them little notes and sometimes I give them a little outline and you know, I'll give them my one or two, three, whatever points. Mm -hmm. And I, I just go from there. Mm, I mean, because some of the most of the time, you know, the way how my daddy be doing it, he 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 take a word out of the Bible, and then, and then he'll get here a little tab and a pen, okay. and then he'll write it down, mm -hmm. and then when he write the little switch out of the Bible, then he'll come behind it with the switch and and not with his little chapter, he'll come behind it, mm -hmm. and I wanna hide hide. I mean, is 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 they good? You could come behind the street, though. Oh yeah, I mean, every every pastor, preacher, um, have their own uh, unique way of techniques of how they study. You know, some some preachers can just get a get look at something, and <laughs> get a subject, and they can go from there. Some people have to do more intense study. Some people have to have five, six Bible references. They have to write stuff out. So it all just depends on who the person is. And uh, if they depend on the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit to, to lead and to guide them, take them where they need to go. And they don't stand up there on their own. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I'm dumb time, man. Cause most of the time, I be seeing you, I you see the light. Like, the 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 speaker about to burn up. <laughs> so, 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 so 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 what you like to say to the people out there? Um, well, I just do it like this: work hard, trust God. <laughs> <laughs> so you so you, I mean, you got another thing you want to say before we well, cold this out? Or? Well, it's going to get better. That's how I say it's it's going it's going to get better. Well, y'all heard that for the for the man for himself. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he it's the man behind him, speaking up through him, but that's the only real you ever know. So, so you, you, you like the black people come and come away from each other. I want to invite those of you that are listening or looking at this or however. Um, I want to invite you to West Friendship Baptist Church, 945 Carrot Street here in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, where we're growing, uh, lives are being changed, and uh, we had an awesome worship experience this morning with um, Prophet Brian Carnes, and he just swept through the church, and I really believe that is, this, our church is, is going to another, to another level. Um, also, um, just be a part of the church.
put your hand like this. Two years ago, I made a lot of mistakes and I made up my mind that I was gonna do something about it. Let me tell you what I decided that I was gonna do.